Hey everyone, welcome to AJSNetworking.com and a quick one right now from one of our readers. I get this email question quite a bit actually and the reader wants to know about studying for the CCIE written and the CCIE lab and the question is, should they study for the written separately and then pass the written and then start studying for the lab or should they do them concurrently? Let's delve into that now. The written is really so hard now, I really think you should consider studying for it as you're studying for the lab exam. In other words, take the approach of killing two birds with one stone. Oh, I can't stand that expression. Who would want to kill birds? Anyways, let's take a look at this. So we're going to do a search for CCIE, R and S written, and we're going to see that we are taken to the Cisco website. Great. And when we get there, we see 400-101, at least at the time of this recording, the CCIE routing and switching written. And what you want to do is you want to review the exam topics and you'll be brought over to the Cisco Learning Network. And here's your exam topics. And if we look at this, we see like basic software architecture differences between iOS and iOS XE. This is not going to be lab relevant, but we're still going to attack it. Uh, Cisco Express forwarding, not really lab relevant, but we'll attack this. But then when you get down to something like layer two technologies, obviously you're going to be doing things like CDP and LLDP and access ports and VLAN database work and VTP. Now you are indeed studying for lab topics at the same time you're studying for written topics. Again, the written is so difficult today that I would really delve deep into these topics. Think about it. You're also studying for the lab as you're doing that. And then when you feel totally ready for both the written and the lab exam, go out there and bang out that written exam. Just like the lab, it might take you a couple of attempts, but that's fine. Get it done. When you're done, now you'll be scheduling your lab exam. So I really think more than ever today, we should consider studying for the written and the lab concurrently and then attacking that written exam. Obviously, you cannot schedule the lab exam until you have passed the written exam. So I want to thank you uh, for the great question. I f actually forget the author's name of that question, but we'll keep him anonymous, him or her anonymous anyways. And uh, keep the questions coming via the Contact Us link at the top of my blog, ajsnetworking.com. Thanks again.